So we hear how much of the force is going on in China. There's, they're going through severe persecution. And we got to understand this. This is all predicted by the Bible. And I'm going to probably scare you all with this news, okay? But I believe that it's the case. I don't have a verse to prove it, but my personal conviction is that I think there's an 80% chance we will face persecution before we get raptured. Because the reason why is there are verses that seem to imply there's going to be a severe kind of persecution before we get raptured, before the end actually occurs and begins. So we're going to first uh, look at several of these cases right here with China. So as you all know what's going on, this is, the article is Chinese officials burn Bibles, close churches, force Christian to denounce faith, and escalating crackdown. This is by the Fox News Network, September 10th, 2018. Lucas Michelionis is the author. The Chinese government is, uh, so I'm quoting, the Chinese government is destroying crosses, burning Bibles, closing churches, and forcing Christian believers to sign papers renouncing their faith as the crackdown on religious congregations in Beijing and several provinces uh, intensifies. The suppression of religious freedoms is part of an official campaign to sinicize religion by demanding loyalty to the atheist communist party and removing any potential challenge to the party's power in the country. So what they're trying to do, what's going on in China, so please don't get mad at me if I draw China correctly, okay? Let's just say this is China, all right? No one, no one will stone me to death, unsubscribe from me for doing that, okay? All right, so in China right here, we see that they are facing severe persecution. They have a thing, what they call uh, sinicize. Sinicize, that's what's going on right now. Now, what this sinicized thing is, is that what they're trying to do is that all of the Christians, they're trying to convert to their beliefs, their cultural lifestyle, basically communism. Because the dictator over there, he wants them to conform to their communist ideologies. So this is what the term is, what's going on right now with your saved brothers and sisters in Christ over there. Now, this is not to say every Chinese Christian over there is a saved Christian, because they mingle them up with Catholics. And if you come Wednesday night service, I've got a really interesting teaching about China's role at the tribulation, and maybe Genghis Khan, Khan gets revived or something like that. I know that sounds really crazy, and it sounds like I'm being funny with you, but there might be something. But I'll teach you Wednesday, OK? All right, anyways, so right here we see that in uh, Christianity converting to communism. That's their term right there for sinicize. But uh, experts and activists say the Chinese government is now waging the most severe suppression of Christianity in the country since religious freedom were granted by the Chinese constitution in 1982. The escalating anti-Christian campaign coincides with President Xi Jinping recent consolidation of power that made him the most powerful Chinese leader since Mao Zedong, the notorious communist leader responsible for millions of deaths. So you got to realize this, is that China has a lot of people. So a lot of people don't realize that there were millions who were killed. If you think Adolf Hitler was bad, actually the communists were worse than Adolf Hitler. They don't tell you that about the number of people who died. So you got to realize this, communism is a very dangerous ideology that we oppose. It is not biblical, and it is disgusting how supposedly our free society, America, is leaning toward their kind of ideology. Yeah. That is very disgusting. Anyway, let's keep reading right here. Activists reportedly filmed footage of what happened to be piles of burning Bibles and forms declaring that the signatories had rejected their faith. The authorities allegedly forced the believers to sign the forms or risk being expelled from school or losing welfare benefits. Do you know how many Protestants China has? You'd probably be surprised. That's why they're going to be an important role in the tribulation. But I will teach that Wednesday night. But there are 38 million Protestants. Protestants. They have a lot. I had no idea either. 
but they have that many people. But that's why you're going to see millions upon millions of demoniacs that will pop out toward this sort of region during the tribulation because they, they are all over. This is also the reason why the Antichrist will have a difficult time with that country during the tribulation. But that will be Wednesday again. Anyways, this is another article. China trying to rewrite the Bible forced churches to sing communist revolutionary songs. This is by the Christian Post, September 28, 2018, by Samuel Smith. Quote, according to its latest outline, Fu said, a retranslation would be a summary of the Old Testament with some Buddhist scripture and Confucian teachings and new commentary for the New Testament. Wow. So they're really trying to convert this to their own new kind of Bible. A new Bible. Now, don't act all shocked because you Christian churches here in America tolerate new Bibles too. And change doctrines. Oh, it doesn't change doctrine. It doesn't change doctrine. Sure it does. Sure it changes doctrine. Anyways, with that thought burning in your minds, uh, let's keep reading right here. Quote, this is what uh, one of the Christians said. His name is Fu. There are outlines that the new Bible should not look westernized and should look, in parentheses, brackets, Chinese and reflect Chinese ethics of Confucianism and socialism. The Old Testament will be messed up. The New Testament will have new commentaries to interpret it. Own kind of religion and lifestyle. This includes editing and publishing worship songs with Chinese characteristics and promoting the cynicization of worship music using uniquely Chinese art forms such as Chinese painting, calligraphy, inscription, and paper cutting to express the Christian faith. In brackets, it's also the communists are encouraging churches to blend in style with Chinese architecture to local architectural style. Fu said that while over 4,000 to 6,000 crosses of state-sanctioned churches have been torn down, churches that have crucifixes on the inside, now listen to this, churches that have crucifixes on the inside must, quote, put up pictures of Chairman Mao and Chairman Z on both sides of the cross. Wow. Wicked, wicked, wicked. But it's kind of really uh, dangerous. So what's going on is that these are going to be rogue nations during the tribulation. Whereas the Antichrist will set up his own style of worship, but it will be in a cloak of, it will be a cloak of religious liberty and for the sake of unity. The only reason why we will have to take forceful methods is only for the sake of hate speech or hate crimes. So the Antichrist will do a more subtle way of doing it, whereas these rogue nations will be pretty blatant. Let's keep reading right here. In the, wor uh, in the beginning of every church worship service, the choir of the church has to sing a few communist revolutionary songs praising the communist party before they can sing the worship songs. <laughs> food, de food detailed. It's wicked. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's more subtle with uh, middle school elementary children taking the battle hymn of the republic and converting that to praising Obama. But that's just at a different video that you can watch from us. See, subtle. See, subtle. Satan's going to either use subtlety or he's going to use a blatant blasphemy as much as he does. Amen. Quote, for the first time since Cultural Revolution, the Communist Party is now implementing a policy to mandate the Chinese faithful citizens to sign a form to renounce their faith, he said. We have produced documentation showing government officials going door to door to force believers to sign a prepared form claiming that these believers were misled by evangelists into believing Christianity. Now, after a few weeks of self-examination and political studies, they have realized they made a mistake. This has not happened in the past. Here's another article by Eleanor Albert. The title of the article is Christianity in China, March 9th. 2018. They said this, China is also the world's largest producer of Bibles. In 2016, the Amity Printing Company, a joint venture between the Amity Foundation, a Chinese NGO, and the United Bible so Societies, printed its 150 millionth Bible, with one-third of those coming between 2013 and 2016. 
That's a vast increase. That's why Satan realized that he can't use the Antichrist reign to suppress Christianity through freedom. He has to use more dictatorship through communism. So if, the, if Satan wants these Christians to suppress their beliefs, he's going to has, have to use really by force. He can't just cloak it as hate crime like the Antichrist will do. So the Antichrist will use a cloak of freedom, whereas these communist nations, it will be very blatant. So the communists will be blatant. And you need something strong like this because they're growing by numbers. It's the world's largest producing Bible. So because of this large production of Bibles, Satan realizes that he's going to have to use something blatant to wipe them all out. But the Antichrist will be struggling with these communist nations, which I will show in the later study. But the point is this. The point is, is that what I really believe is that this, this is already prophesied by the Bible. I know that for a fact. The Bible already predicted that. Look at Luke 21. And let me show you something interesting. Luke 21. And we will read verse 9. The Bible predicted this already, that persecution will happen. But it's in China. And it might happen here. Verse 9, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Notice the end did not happen yet. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. All right, now in verse 9 through 10, notice there's this wars and nation turning against each other. Now this includes China, because China will turn against its other nations. This includes China. Look at Revelation 6. Now, keep your hand on Luke 21. Keep your hand on Luke 21. Go to Revelation 6. Now, look at Revelation chapter 6. Notice which horse comes out, and it represents nation turning against nation and wars against each other. Look at Revelation chapter 6, and we will read verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should what? kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. This definitely is in sync with Luke 21, 9 through 10, about wars and nation turning against each other. That's what Revelation 6 is prophesying, that passage. But you know what's interesting? What, it, what is the color of the horse? Red. Red. What is China's color? Red. See? So you got to realize this, is that before this comes out, before this comes out, you know what happens before this comes out with war amongst nations? And you're already hearing about what's going on with China, right? I mean, it's military power, what they're building up, the exercises and Russia getting involved, stuff like that. But I already told you this a long time ago, that it will be Russia and fellow communist allies that will be rogue nations. But you know what's going to happen before this? Look at Luke 21. Persecution. It happens before this happens. Before China blows up and all the other nations turn against each other. It's going to happen before this. Because look at Luke 21. All right, remember we read verses 9 through 10, right? That's where they turn against each other, where the red horse comes out. But look at verse 12. But before what? All these, see that? Before all those things happen, what happens? They shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. See that? So there's going to be persecution that happens before this. But not only that, Paul also told you that. Look at 2 Timothy 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Paul told you in the church age... In the latter days of the church, that there would be persecution. So Luke 21, with Revelation 6, shows this outcome with China. And then if you look at 2 Timothy 3, Paul makes it very plain. There is persecution. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3, and look at verse 1. This know also, then the last days perilous times shall come. So notice he is speaking to the church. This is in reference to the last days of the church. But in the last days of the church, look at verse 13. Verse 13, 
But evil men and seducers, right, like the dictators we have, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. This, that, that wording wax, worse and worse, matches with Matthew 24. And Matthew 24 says that when you hit the tribulation, the love of many will wax cold. So this is referring to at the border of the end times. There's no doubt about that. But look at right before verse 13. Yea, and what? All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. It gave a guarantee. And the future will, shall suffer persecution. So it's more literal than you think right here. So Christianity will suffer persecution. So that's why your pastor personally believes that there's an 80% chance that we will face persecution before the rapture. So how much time do you have living for Jesus Christ? That's why you got to serve God right now. While you have the freedom to go to church, the freedom to go to church, the freedom to preach on the streets, the freedom to knock on doors, because remember, these communists in China are the ones doing the door-to-door -door visitation. I read you that part in the article. While you, while you have the chance to do door-to-door -door visitation, you better get involved with the Bible-believing church. You better start street preaching. You better start knocking on doors. Churches that condemn soul winning, visitation, that condemn street preaching, and people that condemn going to church, my goodness, man, more than ever, because of this, you should open your eyes and realize, I better get involved. I better get involved because you don't have much time to serve God and we're going to face persecution. Now, like I said, 80% chance, so I could be wrong because these verses are probably being already fulfilled in China, okay? Probably already fulfilled in China and throughout church history, they did suffer persecution. But the thing is this, is that because the way that these verses seem to indicate by context, I think it's very, very possible that persecution can happen right before, right before that this tribulation starts to blow out.